Lillian Wald, the first public health nurse in the United States. In the early 1900s, she was an idealist. She worked hard with European immigrants, especially children and women, who arrived in the United States to get a taste of the American dream. She started teaching home health classes, and in one of her classes, a kid came up and asked, will you come and see my mom, who is sick? She went there, and the mother had been hemorrhaging for up to two weeks. And after this visit, visit she was confirmed about the injustices of society in health care. She didn't tolerate seeing poor people with no access to health care. In 1909, with her friend Mary Brewster, she established a nursing program which ran for 44 years and specialized in services for immigrants as well as the mentally handicapped. And her whole structure was based around fees according to the ability to pay. Test tomorrow, 2 o'clock. Don't be late. Girl, do not let him leave. He has been checking out this entire class. That man is fine. Mike is so hot, right? Shh. Am I right? He can hear you. Look at that butt. Seriously, if you don't, I will. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's going to be at the party Saturday, right? You're coming. Yes? Yes? Mm. Party, party. Sorry, I'll be working. Oh. You're hopeless. You are hopeless. You have to come. Just tell him you're sick. You're sick. You know I can't. My mom is injured. And you're sick. Miss Lopez, can you come here for a second, please? Oh, someone likes the older guy. Whatever. <laughs> Miss Lopez, your test scores are the highest in the class. Uh, but you're the only student without an internship position. I don't know. I'm, I'm always busy with work. You need to do a practicum, otherwise you can't become a nurse. I know. Oh. Try this hospital. Ask for Dr. Peters. He's a good friend of mine. Okay. Thank you. I was talking to with my professor about an internship to the hospital. Pero vas a poder, hijita. I don't know, mamita. I don't know. Bueno, andale. La comida ya está hecha, eh? Well, okay, I have to go, mom. Pero mija, no has comido. Tienes que comer. Y, 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 ¿cuándo vas a regresar, mija? Ya sabes, no regresas tarde, eh? Porque ya mañana no puede levantarte para la escuela. ¡Mija!
Mira, hijita, ya van a decir lo de las votaciones. Correcto, muchas gracias. La Cámara de Representantes ha entregado un veredicto no positivo al llamado Dream Act, al acto del sueño. La iniciativa de ley que mucha gente, particularmente jóvenes inmigrantes, estaban esperando para poder cambiar su vida dentro de los Estados Unidos. Con 56 votos a favor y 43 en contra, el sueño de miles de jóvenes hispanos se ha quedado en la puerta del Senado al no alcanzar los 60 votos que ayudaría a esta iniciativa de ley hacia una aprobación final. Esta iniciativa de ley iba a permitir a los estudiantes graduados de high school y que hayan ingresado antes de los 16... Ay, mi hijita. to the States from Mexico when I was six years old. But I don't feel like a Mexican. I grew up here. I never got in trouble. I want to be a nurse because I want to help people. I love America. Because America is my country. My friends are here, my school is here, my life is here. My feelings are like American. I feel like American. And now, I'm illegal. Illegal in my own country. And as if as classified as a illegal alien. Alien? As if I were not a human. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I can't do internship and I can't graduate. <laughs> the American dream is not for illegals. Thanks for coming. Call me if you need anything, okay? Thank you. You, you have a green card for me? Silly. Invite, il y a de la joie chez moi, c'est merveilleux à côté des étoiles, j'habite à deux pas du ciel, toujours bleu, j'attendrai chez moi votre visite là-haut sous les toits. Dans mon logis, tous les fois je reçois. Venez, venez vite, c'est gentil chez moi. Venez-y, venez donc chez moi. Je vous invite, il y a de la joie chez moi. C'est merveilleux à côté. Des étoiles j'habite À deux pas du ciel 
toujours bleu J'attendrai chez moi Votre visite Là-haut sous les toits Dans mon logis Tous les fois je reçois Venez, venez vite C'est gentil chez moi